Phillips Easter Egg Hunt. It was Good Friday and spring on the island of Sodor, and all the engines loved this time of year, especially Philip, the excitable little diesel box cab. There was to be an Easter Egg Hunt at the Vicarage Orchard for the children on Easter Sunday, and Trevor and Fergus were to be at the attractions there. On Easter Saturday morning, Philip was enjoying the spring sunshine and looking for animals. Hello, bunnies! You're so adorable! Yes, you are! cried Philip and honked his horn as he was so attracted by the rabbit he didn't see the signal turn red until it was too late. Philip! Look out! Boke and Philip applied their brakes and they both stopped just in time. You were lucky that we didn't collide, Philip, but like there could have been an accident. Just then, Ed was right from the back of the trolley. Philip, what's going on with you? You know engines aren't allowed to pass red signal. I'm sorry, sir. I was very attracted by the cute bunny rabbit, which is why I didn't see the signal. If anything like that happens again, you will not watch the children's Easter egg hunt, and you will stay in your shed. At least, neither you or both would have any damage, instead would. Indeed. Now, back to work everyone. Philip, you will collect the chocolate eggs from Mr Jolly's chocolate factory and deliver them to the Vicarage Orchard where the hunt will take place and no getting distracted by the animals. Yes sir, I won't get distracted by the animals. Philip realised that it was harder than he thought. However, he finally made it to Mr Jolly's chocolate factory. Oh, hello. Who are you? Asked Philip. Oh, me, Adam. Well, it's nice to meet you, replied the tank engine. Philip's the name. Oh, I want to challenge Gordon to a race. But anyway, what brings you here, Adam? Oh, yes, of course. It is all because of Diesel. It started yesterday when I was bringing ru rubbish to the waste dump. That's when I met Whip. I spoke to him, but as Scruff was taking my rubbish away, Diesel biffed Scruff damaged him and got covered in rubbish. That's when I lost it and hit Diesel. He got derailed. Scruff was taken to for repairs. Diesel the same. But he'll be in the shed for three weeks, and I got sent here. I'm sorry for you. Have you seen the, the cute rabbit? Asked Philip. Well, no. I've got an idea. I'll go and look for her. Philip, your trucks! Shouted Adam. But it was too late. Philip was already gone. Why doesn't Philip have the Easter eggs with him? He's gone to look for a rabbit or bunny or so what? Philip, said Edward. Philip was racing through the countryside looking for the bunny and not doing his job, which was deli delivering the Easter eggs for the children's Easter egg hunt. Ooh, where's that cute little bunny rabbit I saw earlier? Philip, no getting distracted, said Boko as he went past with a goods train. Sorry, Boko, cried Philip. Then he saw Neville with Easter decorations for the hunt. No finding animals, Philip, said Neville. You should be delivering the chocolate eggs to the Vicarage George. <gasps> Philip gasped. Oh no, I was supposed to be delivering chocolate eggs to the orchard for the children's Easter egg hunt, cried Philip. So Philip went back to Mr Jolly's chocolate factory and picked up the Easter eggs. At first, the chocolate trucks laughed at the fact that Philip left them behind to find the bunny rabbit. Troll was there. At first he wasn't pleased with Philip for trying to buy the bunny, but he was pleased with Philip for delivering the chocolate eggs ready for the Easter egg hunt on Easter Sunday, and allowed Philip to watch the children's Easter egg hunt after all. Thank you, Philip, said the 
the vicar. The next day was Easter Sunday, and Trevor and Fergus were there as the attractions. Soon the hunt began when the vicar told the parents it was time for the children to start hunting for the eggs. One of the children found an egg on one of Philip's buffers. Happy Easter everyone, cheered Philip. 